This is uh, a little too much. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, but let's just work it into the skin. Let's, let's wait a minute and let's just work it, okay? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Natasha. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. For those of you guys that are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is a first full impression of Selena Gomez's new cosmetics brand, Rare Beauty. In today's video, I show you how I achieved this look, which products I used and what I thought about them. So if you wanna see that, just keep on watching. I am so excited to try out Selena Gomez's new cosmetics brand, Rare Beauty. It is 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it is available at all Sephora stores. I purchased a few items from the collection, items that I thought were staples for me, specifically the foundation, the concealer, the highlighter, the liquid blush, and one of the liquid lipsticks. So let's get started. But before I do, let me take a sip of this coffee that I made. Mm. That first cup of coffee in the morning just hits different. Like, I don't know if you guys are coffee drinkers or tea drinkers. Actually, comment below. But I am obsessed with coffee. Let's get started. This is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And the color I got is in numbers. So it's 320W. I actually had a Sephora rep help me color match because I am really bad at color matching. Okay, so this is the applicator and it's pretty liquidy. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it right directly on my face and use my brush to blend it out. Just a couple of dabs everywhere. What I had heard about this foundation is that it is pretty skin-like, so it's buildable, but it is more on the natural side, more on the like lightweight sheen side. And so I might have to apply another layer. Let's see how this one applies first with the brush. The brush I'm using is a Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush brush from Sephora. And it's my favorite foundation brush because again, it gives you that airbrush look. Okay, so so far as I'm blending it, I can definitely see that it is not full coverage the way I like my foundation to be. But maybe with the second layer that I'll apply, it'll give me more of that coverage that I'm looking for. By the way, I already did my brows, so I am not going to do them on camera. Wanted to speed up the process for you guys because brows can take a little bit, at least for me. And if you want to see my eyebrow routine, click the video above to check it out. I'm not going to lie, I actually really like it so far. It reminds me of a BB cream texture, but definitely more coverage than the BB cream. And I can't really complain so far. I'm gonna do another layer, like I said, just to give it a little more coverage. And this applicator is pretty good because it does take out a lot of products. So it's not like I have to dip in again. Like I can just keep using it until it's pretty much done. And what I'm really shook about is the fact that this is an exact match. I rarely find an exact match when I'm looking for foundations. I always have to like mix two different foundations or um, get something that's a little darker just to give me a little more tan, but I never find the exact match. And I'm not kidding when I say this is my exact color. You wanna be very careful around your eyebrow area if you do your eyebrows first. That way you don't ruin the shape that you worked so hard on. Let me go in on my neck a little bit and then we are done. You also wanna put a little bit on your ear, that way your ear can match. I'm gonna take my beauty blender to just blend in the foundation a little more. I kind of see a little bit of the streaks from the blush and I am not loving that. 
it's weird though because I never really see it with any other foundation and I'm always using my brush. Maybe it's because this is a little more on the liquidy side. So this is the foundation. I put two layers on and you can see a little bit here of my dark mark. I'm going to correct that with the concealer and then put a little more foundation on top of it. But I have to say I am pretty impressed. I love the color and I like how lightweight it is. Like it's, you know, great for day to day use. So this is the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer in the color or in the number 310W. And I'm going to take it out of the box. Again, similar packaging. I am just obsessed. This would look so cute on your bathroom counter or like your vanity. So let's see how this holds up. The applicator is a little different. It's a slanted applicator and it does pick up a lot of products. So I would say a little goes a long way. Let's not overdo it, especially because I don't know how this concealer will apply. It's my first time using it. So I'm just gonna dab a little. It also doesn't feel as heavy, I have to say, in comparison to the Shape Tape or even the NARS. I'm gonna just put a little tiny here where I have my dark mark here. And so I'm gonna contour. And you wanna let your concealer dry up a little bit because what happens is when you apply the beauty blender as soon as you put on the concealer, it just kind of picks up all of the product and doesn't really even push it into your skin. In the meantime, I'm actually gonna use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick to do some contouring in my forehead and in my cheek. in my nose area. Okay, so it has dried up a little bit. Let's go into it. Perfect color as well. I usually get a more bright color to brighten under my eyes. And I have to say, it is pretty easy to blend. It's pretty sheen in a way, like it doesn't really give me the coverage that I'm looking for, but I will reapply a second layer like I did with the foundation. And here I'm gonna use my hands a little bit. Now, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the foundation so that I can hide that the best I can. Now for my contour, I like to use the brush. So I'm gonna use a small little brush to blend in the nose contour. And then you go in with the blender just to give it a little more of that natural look. So now we're just gonna use a second layer of the concealer. And this time I'm applying all of the product that's on the applicator. Let it dry for a bit and I have to say that 
I don't know if it's because the foundation is so smooth, but applying all the other products on my face on top of the foundation just glides. Like it just, it's so easy to blend and it's just easy to work with. There's other foundations where sometimes they're too drying and then when you put other products on top, it's kind of like hard to blend. And then it's almost like you're being abrasive with your face and it's like, hold up, my face needs some love right now. Calm it down. Let's work into it slowly, you know? I like to put a little bit of concealer on my eyelids because again, it's part of the eye and you want it to look bright. If you just put it underneath, it's kind of like, well, your eyelid is a little dull and it's just not a good look. And now I see a little more coverage and more brightening under the eye. I'm not crazy about the concealer. I like the foundation. I would definitely use it for every day, but the concealer, not so much. I think I'm gonna stick with my NARS. I just don't like how sheen it is. And then I feel like I'm overusing products. You and see, like I just don't feel that it's doing justice under my eye. But let's go ahead and apply the liquid blush before I set. This is the Soft Pitch Dewy Liquid Blush in the color Joy. It's more of like a peachy color and I love peachy blushes. I don't know, with my skin tone, they just work perfectly. So again, the aesthetic of the bottle is on point and the Sephora rep did tell me that with the liquid blush and the liquid highlighter, a little goes a long way. You don't want to overdo it and then look like a clown. So we're just going to dot maybe like two dots on each cheek and that is it. So one, actually I think one is fine, but let me do a little more. Two, one, two. I'm going to use this Pro Mini 55.5 brush from the Sephora collection. I mostly use it for blush and for bronzer. Okay, this is blending into the skin very nicely. It's easy to maneuver like for the placement of it. It's not going everywhere. I like, I like. Let's bring it a little up. It is, it is very pigmented, I can tell you that much. I'm going to use my beauty blender to just make it a little more sheer. You know, okay, I see it coming together. I see it. Wow. Wow. Like, this is a beautiful blush. And I have been into liquid blushes recently. I've been using the NYX Coralicious one, and I am obsessed. And it kind of reminds me of this one. This one is a little more liquidy than the NYX one, but it gives you that finish that you just, you can't deny. Like, it looks good. So, again, start off with your brush. I have to say Selena Gomez hit it out the park with the colors like definitely color wise on point now texture wise it's a hit or miss you know wow I am shook I am actually pretty impressed I'm gonna use this puff to set my eyes and the setting powder that I'm using is the Bye Bye Pore Pressed uh, Airbrush Finish Powder from A Cosmetics, and this is actually a sample. I have been trying it out to see how I like it. Same thing with this eye. Light, I just wanna use this Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the color Flaunt. It's her liquid highlighter, and this is a nice, golden shade it's like a yellow gold looks really nice on darker skin tones this is also super pigmented per the sephora rep and a little goes a long way so you just don't want to overdo it so the liquid blush and the um and the highlighter are products that will last you a long time because you don't need that much product so this is how it looks super pretty and the applicator is nice too so what i'm gonna do is instead of taking it instead of putting it directly from the applicator on my face i'm gonna put it on my hand wow look at that 
so pretty and then I'm going to just take my finger and dab it on me and let's just use the beauty blender to blend the two together meaning the blush and the highlighter Wow, look at that. Shine like a diamond. Rihanna, if you guys didn't guess, I'm not a great singer, but I love to sing. Okay. Okay. All right, let me go in with the Revolution Luxury Banana Baking Powder. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier one, so I just put a little bit into this little container and just dab my beauty blender. <sighs> You want to always like blow out the excess. You also want to do it right under your contour to highlight a little bit. Right there. Right there. While I'm baking, I'm actually going to put a little bit of bronzer on my eyelids so that they don't look super bare. You want to give it a little color and that's a great hack. Either contour or bronzer on your eyelids, it's like a quick go-to eyeshadow look and it just doesn't require a lot of product or a lot of time. So I use the Hourglass. Oh my God, this is a mess over here, but this is the Radiant Bronze Light. It's such a pretty color. And I just dab a little bit of the foundation brush that I used earlier into the powder and then take off the excess and just blend it out in my eyelids. Now I'm going to take off the excess powder that I used for highlighting and baking. So now you see it's a little brighter under the eyes. I'm going to go in with the same bronzer and just bronze a little bit on top of my contour line. and. Give it a little more depth. Okay, so now we're going to go in with my mascara. I used the Superhero by It Cosmetics. And I love this mascara because it has biotin in it. So it grows your own lashes. And it makes them really nice and long. I always like to layer my mascara, probably like two or three layers to give it that extra thickness. But some people can go on the more natural side and just do one layer and that's perfectly fine. This is done. And now I'm going to go in with her Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. And this is like a mauve color. Well, the color is called Courage, but it's like a mauve look. And it's a liquid lipstick. Look at the packaging. Super cute. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply directly. Oh, I love this color. Oh my God. It has a hint of pink, but then it's like, uh, it's like the perfect nude in a way, if you will. It feels so nice on the lips. It's like a velvety feel. And I am obsessed with this color. I'm telling you, she hit it right on the spot with all the colors. Last but not least is my favorite e.l.f. makeup mist spray. And just apply a few to set your entire makeup and make it last long. 
have to say that my favorite products used today from the collection were the foundation, the liquid highlighter, the liquid blush, and the liquid lipstick. The only thing I wasn't a fan of was the concealer, but that's just me. And again, it might work for you, but it didn't work for me. But other than that, I am pretty impressed. Honestly, I love the packaging. I love the colors. Okay, let me just let my hair out. Let, let me give you guys a little modeling look. Work it, girl, work it. Work it, girl, work it. We're out for the day. So now I have my full face on. I just got to get ready and I'm going to go to a barbecue and I'm just going to have a good time. People are going to ask me like, girl, what foundation did you use? Did you even use foundation? And I'm like, yes, it is the new Rare Beauty. Get you some or get lost. Nah, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah!